guys, what's going on? Just sitting on my floor, waiting to go to class at 12.30, and it's almost 11. Tired, bored. Yeah. Um, I don't know, I just thought I'd talk about my bad habits. Oh, I've got so many bad habits. Um, I guess I used to have a lot more. So I'm going to say the ones that I used to have and also the ones that I still struggle with. Uh, so when I was younger, I don't know if this is like considered OCD, I think it is. Uh, but literally, I've had this ever since I was a little kid. Every single time somebody touches me, I have to like wipe it off or like the feeling of it, it feels like it still stays there until I wipe it off. So even if somebody like pokes me or like accidentally rubs into me, I always have to like rub it off or it feels like the feeling stays there. Um, if I had like a boyfriend or whatever, um, I don't think that would happen. Like I, yeah, I, it wouldn't happen. Um, I don't know why I have that issue, <laughs> but yeah, I've always had that. <clears throat> it stopped for a few years and then it came back like once I got older again, which is weird. Um, another bad habit I have, which is like really bad, I think in like sixth grade, I started to bite, well, when I was younger, I used to bite the insides of my cheeks until they like bled and um, I kind of miss doing that. I can't really do it anymore, maybe because like my teeth like shifted after I got braces and whatever. Um, but yeah, I used to like bite the insides of my cheek until they bled a lot. Not a lot, but yeah. Um, and then moving on from there, uh, I started biting my knuckles. This was really bad. Like I used to bite all my knuckles until they were raw. Like they were bleeding and just like open wounds. Like, uh, I don't know, it was really bad. And it actually messed up like this part of my finger. I don't know if you can see, but I don't really have like the wrinkles in it anymore, like compared to this. I bit all of my um, knuckles, but this one's probably the most affected. And also like the inside of this finger. Um, that's so weird, like I've never seen anybody do that, but it was bad and uh, I couldn't stop doing it and my family was trying to figure out ways for me to stop doing it and it it hurt because like, I, they never got infected, but like, I just had to be careful with it because it hurt. So I had band-aids on it all the time. <clears throat> but I just like always bite the skin off. Now today I just bite this <laughs> this is so weird. Like I just I bite my skin. Like I bite my lips, like the skin off of my lips until it bleeds. <laughs> I don't know why. Like ew, that's so fucking weird. <laughs> so weird. But yeah, that's the truth. And um Yeah. So like, I usually cut it out in my videos, but a lot of the times when I'm making videos, I like go like this, like, bite my lips, but yeah, I don't think that's like, I feel like a lot of people have that issue, I don't really know, but yeah. Another bad habit I have is not responding to people right away. Um, I used to respond to people like within two seconds. And as you grow up being a teenager, you learn that it's kind of weird to respond right away. So I'd wait like two to five minutes and like talking to guys, you have to do that. Or you have to like wait one day after you first meet to respond to him. <laughs> and I guess I kind of just got into that like groove. And uh, now that I'm busy with college, like it's so hard for me to respond right away, and I feel so bad. But yeah, it's a uh, it's a challenge. Um, I think a really bad habit that I have is like it's so ironic because I'm I'm a pretty respectful person, but I curse all the time. It's really bad. Like I really have to stop. I don't curse in front of kids um, unless I don't know that they're there. But and. Like, my family curses a lot, too. Uh, so whenever there's kids around, I'd, like, tell them to not curse. And they're like, mm -hmm. I understand. They always say, like, they're going to learn at some age. I'm like, 
okay, but they shouldn't know it at this age. Um, yeah, my, I grew up here and my dad cursed a lot. Like, even if we were just getting macaroni, he would just be like, get the fucking macaroni. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was bad. I know so many people bite their fingernails, I just, I the nail, I the nail, I the nail. I can't. Ugh, I hate that. Um, another bad habit I have, I used to literally not eat at all. Like, I was known to eat like a bird in my family. But now, I kind of just eat when I'm bored. And I just like, I don't know. Like, I just, I need something to do. So I like, and I like the taste of like, especially sour things. I just like the taste of it. I don't necessarily want to eat it. I just want to like taste it, but I'm not going to like spit it out. <laughs> So I just eat it. Um, luckily, I'm not like gaining too much weight, but I definitely need to work out because of this issue that I have. So don't eat out of boredom. Uh, another bad habit. I don't trust myself with a credit card, but I do have a debit card and uh, I have a checking account on it. And I buy designer clothes with it. And um, I have like a whole closet filled of clothes of designer clothes. And uh, it's so bad because I'm in college now and I can't afford that and if I didn't buy all those designer clothes I probably would have had like two or three thousand dollars in my bank account right now but um I like to wear good fashionable clothes so yeah um there's so oh my god I just went to super dry the other day if you don't know what that is it's like it's new in America I think or like at least where I live um it's a Japanese clothing store and oh my god they came out with so many nice clothes like when they first came out I wasn't like I like their coats but it was like their clothes are like not too nice but oh my god like I need I need to buy them I was in the mall and I'm like like trying to get hair to buy them I'm like nah. uh, they look, they're just so good. There's this one, it's like, I hate patriotic colors, but it's like red, white, and blue. It's a sweatshirt, and like the zippers are like on the bottom. I love like when zippers are in like weird places. They're like just a unique style to things. I like that. So maybe I'll save up to get that. Hopefully there's still more. The bad habit I have, if you don't live in America, uh, we give tips to uh, restaurants or like, yeah, restaurants or waiters. and. I feel bad, so I usually give them more of a tip than they should get. Uh, especially like in when I'm getting delivery, like when they come to your house, um, it's like so much pressure. So I just kind of like, like oh my god, I just got Chinese food the other day, and it came out to like I don't know like uh, fifteen dollars. So if that's like usually you do twenty percent, so that's like three dollars, and I gave him like six or nine dollars because I was trying to get like I was holding the bag I was making sure my cat wouldn't go outside he was standing there it was freezing outside I had the money in my hand I'm trying to get it with the bag in my hand I'm like oh my god <laughs> you know what you just take it <laughs> I was like thank you I'm like you're welcome and uh yeah if I had money to give to people I would give all of it away but I I really don't have money to give to people as of right now so yeah, that's a really bad habit that I have. I usually over tip people. Um, even if I lived in Europe, I feel like I would still tip even though they don't do tips there just because I feel bad. But uh, I know the tips included though. Um, so in America, it's very important to show eye contact with people um, when you're talking to them to show respect. And I know when like, Especially Asian cultures, you're not supposed to look into their eyes because it shows like dominance or whatever. And uh, when I was younger, I never looked into people's eyes, like never, ever, 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 ever. But now I like usually look into people's eyes, and it's not as uncomfortable because like I keep talking about it, I'm like okay, it's fine, it's fine. Like literally, while I'm looking into their eyes, I'm like it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, don't worry. And then I'm like, when do I look away? Because at some points you do have to look away. But yeah, it's, uh, I hate eye contact. Uh, another bad habit of mine is, first of all, I just, I stay up late every day. 
But um, when it's time for me to wake up, I constantly snooze my alarm and I feel like I'm gonna wake up. Like I think I'm gonna wake up, but I, I'm not and I don't. <laughs> so I need to work on that because I was missing a lot of classes, but now I'm kind of like back into it, which is, which sucks because um, I have less than a month left of school. So yeah, I uh, need to get my alarms back on track. Um, a bad habit that I used to have, this was a video that I did on my original channel and actually I uh, something really bad happened. I used to sleep, I have one day contacts and I used to sleep with them in all the time, like for days at a time and they're one day. And it got so bad that I suffocated my cornea and I literally almost went blind. I made a video about it on my original channel, like I said, I would upload it, but I don't have that video anymore. I don't think I'll look again, but I, I really don't think I have it. So in three months, you can get to see that. <laughs> I think another bad habit that I have is making other people feel better before myself. Like I don't ever think about myself. I just always think about how that other person is feeling. And like obviously that affects me in the end because I either got taken advantage of or um, it just doesn't work out how I planned. <laughs> like people, if you're constantly too nice people, you're gonna get taken advantage of, especially at work. Uh, it sucks. Oh, this is a big issue for me. I daydream all the time. Like it should just be called dreaming because I dream all the time. Like I just, I just daydream all the time. When I'm in class, I could literally just be like, And luckily I'm one of those people who doesn't really get called on most of the time. Um, yeah, but I daydream all the time. I love daydreaming though, because I could be in my own little world where I make up my life that I want to have and I don't have it. <laughs> okay. I procrastinate all the time. When I was in middle school, I did my homework right when I got home without anybody telling me to do it. And I got fucking A's and honor roll and whatever the fuck. And then, I got older and I procrastinate so much and I hate it because like once I get it done I feel so much better and I just I, I'm just too lazy to start but once I'm in it like when I'm writing an essay I, I taste I say to myself you know do a little bit at a time but once I'm actually writing it I just do it all in once and um, I benefit most from doing it like that so I procrastinate so much too much. Oh my god. This is possibly the most annoying bad habit that I have. Uh, I I look at myself in the mirror so many times because it's a low self-esteem thing. It's not because I think, oh my god, I'm so pretty. Like, no, I that's exactly the reason why, because I don't think that. And I just I like fix my hair constantly to make it like perfectly how I want it, even though it's never exactly how I want it. Um, and it got so bad that if we were in a restaurant, I still st sometimes do this, I get like the spoon or a knife or whatever and I look into it and it's just like, I don't know, I guess I'm like obsessed with like how I look and it's never up to my standard so it's like a constant battle with myself. Oh, it's so annoying, I hate it. And every time I look past my reflection, it, it doesn't even have to be a mirror, it could be like a window or... Anything that shows my reflection and I just like look into it and like, oh, it's it's so bad. I hate it. Uh, I don't know if this is like a bad habit or like even a habit. It's just like something that is wrong with me. Uh, I forget everything. Like I've probably the worst memory ever. I just, I can't remember anything. It's bad and Alzheimer's does not run in my family. So I don't think I'll have an issue with that. It's just like, I don't remember it. Like if somebody tells me their name, it's just because I'm not paying attention because like I guess I'm nervous or whatever. But when I first meet somebody and they tell me their name, I listen to them like, oh, like Matt. <laughs> and uh, then I forget it two seconds later. So sorry if I ever forget your name if I meet you. Oh, okay. This isn't a problem that I've always had in my entire life. I've never, I don't think I've 
and I'm being completely honest here, I don't think I've ever stood up straight or sat up straight like my entire life. Like this is this is me standing up straight. And it's because I'm five foot eight and that's pretty tall in America especially like Asian culture. So if I do go to Korea I'm gonna be like towering over a lot of people. Um but it's just because I want it to be shorter because my entire life growing up I was always the tallest in my school and uh, I'm still very tall. Um, I used to hate it. I hated it so much and everybody just told me, oh it'll be a good thing once you're older and like, oh. and actually it's, it's nice being tall because I can reach wherever the fuck I want. I can just, I have very long arms so I could like scratch wherever I want <laughs> and um, I, I think being tall gives you more opportunities in life like modeling or like sports whatever I don't know but yeah I used to hate being tall but now I'm I have like very bad back issues like my back always hurts from because I don't have any muscles in my upper back so it's like just constantly it hurts to actually stand up straight like it actually hurts me so I just like it's more comfortable going like this but I don't want do you see how my shoulders are like rounding out now I have to like change that so I don't have a hunchback when I'm older okay guys I think that's all I'm gonna say for my bad habits but if you like this please like it comment down below any of your bad habits down below and yeah please subscribe let's grow this Thank you so much for watching. Peace.